Hello everybody, this is Xenocat82543, welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, uh, the complete collection, P the version for the PSP. Um, we're gonna go do some side stuff in the underground. We, we're gonna head back underground. The Enterprise can fly over lava now, that was talked about in a plot thing. Like, it, technically it got that ability right as we were finishing up the lower part of the Tower of Babel, but we never got to really explore around with it. So, uh, first we want to visit this little place. I think we've been here before. I'm going to double check that we have, but I'm pretty sure we've been here before. Yeah, we have. There would be an item there. He needs Adamant type to forge a thing. To forge a legendary sword. And we're going to give him over the Myth Graven Blade. Whatever, we don't need it anymore. You go do that. Have fun with that. He's going to be working on that for a bit. We'll be back. Actually, not too long. Maybe later this episode. The trigger is not too far away. Anyway. The other place we have to go. A little bit of a longer walk. Back up here. If you need yellow dragons, they're right here or on the little power peninsula down here. For the bestiary. If you miss those in Skill Cave, you can get... They're pretty rare, though. You'll probably want to use a Siren to get them, because they are the rarest encounter. Although, if you manage to get a Siren to drop, their Sirens are also pretty rare. Mm. Excuse me. We'll be doing something about that later. We'll stick you in the back. Yeah, you have that. This is all good. I'm gonna save up. Ooh. I like that I can see that. That's so nice. I didn't realize that was a thing. We'll let Rosa lead. She hasn't been in the lead a lot. We do still need float, but we have plenty of MP for floats. We have to go back through the Sylphan Cave. It's just a few floors. I feel like we're getting really lucky with encounters. Although we're also not going for any of the chests. Oh, that's not the right way. Uh, we don't need to float anymore. Sylvan Cave is, does not have any enemies that care about it. It's not going to help us against any of the enemies. Did we just not get in the sink? I had to jinx it. I had to jinx it. This is our one encounter. I will take this encounter because it's not going to be as annoying as it would have been earlier. Hey, you know... Let's get revenge. We're going to get some revenge on these enemies. I don't see if I attack there, but... Hey, you you guys were really obnoxious earlier. Evil Dreamers and Elder Treants. Not the Malboros. We're not getting revenge on them, but these guys were pretty annoying. So we're going to summon Leviathan on them. Which completely wipes them out. <laughs> uh, I do not want the diet ration. Let's whack you with a frying pan. Yay, Yang's awake. Yang wants to join our party. <laughs> Edge is like, I'm better than you. I mean, kinda, yeah. And the Sylphs are like, no wait, we'll just let you call us instead. And Sylphs, it, it's useful. It's a pretty good summon. It does about the amount damage as virus, but it has a drain effect, so it splits the HP that it does across the whole party. And it doesn't cost any MP, for some reason. Well, it costs MP if it misses. 
or gritty is in the middle slot, but neither of those, hopefully neither of those will happen, so it won't cost any MP. Anyway, we have to go back to the bull now. I know. But we have to go tell Shiwa about this development. I hate that I can't fly over the castle. And we get the kitchen knife. It's a thing that Edge can throw. We might use it later, I might just store it. Because we haven't really used the patchwork though, but we might be using him a bit more soon. Anyway, that is all of the side stuff, I believe, for the overworld. Or for the blue planet. For now, at least. Yeah, this is kind of where I wanted to go. I don't want to go to Mysidia. Hello, Mysidia. Okay, Elder. Remember this prophecy in the city in Legend? We're going to talk about it again. Okay, we'll pray. Oh, good. Yeah, yes, indeed. Epic music time. So here we have loose some beds, which will let us nap. We don't have anything. We're going to deposit some things. I'm going to deposit the kitchen knife and the shuriken. I'm going to deposit the cat claws and the hell claws, because I don't need those on my hand. I'm going to deposit some more stuff. Uh, we might keep these around, but... We'll keep the Mage Masher, I'll deposit the Kotatsu's, Ulu Killer, Ice Lance, Headband. Yeah, I might want some of that. What else am I not going to need? We're not going to use the Fangs. Light Curtain casts Reflect, basically. So it's very useful, we'll keep it around, I guess. That's a lot of space. Cool fat chocobo. I didn't want to use Dissol Greens or to summon him, but I figured if it's free, I may as well. Yeah, let's go to the moon.
mouth. We're gonna land. Step out. Let's head back inside. We're not going where we're actually supposed to go. In case you were wondering. We're gonna go do some side stuff that's actually a little bit sketchy at the moment, but should be fine. Uh, for this, I actually don't want that Avenger equipped. We're gonna want that. You're at full health. We're not gonna worry about finding all the enemies on the on the surface of the moon and that stuff. We'll do that later. Right now, the goal is to get through the Lair of the Father, which is an optional dungeon that is full of enemies that we probably shouldn't be fighting yet, but. We'll be fine. Genji Gloves. They're going to try to turn Edge into a tank. I don't really care about turning Edge into a tank. Um, we're going to swap that with the Mage Masher and go. Goodbye, Dark Sage. <laughs> oh, Dark Sage. You forgot to not be a mage. All the way down here at 148. Yeah, we're a bit far out. We're kind of not supposed to be here. Yeah, that fire hurts. Uh... Yeah. Moon Maidens basically mean magic. Unfortunately. Well, we can kill it. One maiden's not too, too difficult. I'm kind of not supposed to be here, but it's okay. Moon Maiden, right next to Dark Sage. They drop Artemis arrows, which are the best arrows in the game. And Lunar Curtains, which are really good. Minerva Bustiers. Bustier. I don't know, Bustier, whatever it is. I think I know, oh, I think I know what that is. That's actually really good if we can get one of those, or an Artemis bow. Those are ridiculously good, but I don't think we're going to see them. It's okay. Now we're going to walk through here, grab a Genji shield. All this Genji stuff is technically nice, but it's kind of meh. I guess the Genji shield we could use, it's better defense with magic defense, but it's pretty similar to the Aegis shield. I guess the other Genji stuff is good for you. The Genji Gloves are an upgrade. Anyway, we're gonna go down to the next floor. Genji Armor, it is an upgrade. We'll give it to you. Although Edge can also wear the Genji stuff. I'm not gonna use the Genji Helm. We don't need it. But, we will need to do some setup in this fight. Behemoths are scary. Uh, we want to do Mirage. You parry for now. We want to get Blink set up on... Especially you. You can steal. If you get caught, it's fine. It does a little bit of damage, but it's fine. We're gonna attack with Cecil. Oof. We go Zerking. Just because the Avenger will do more damage. We wanted to get the time to set up, though. And then do a Kiraja all just to make sure we're all really well topped off. I mean, it won't top Cecil off, but it'll top everyone else off. Oh, it did top Cecil off. That's surprising.
But yeah, Cecil's gonna be doing all our damage here. Make sure we keep the blinks up. That's very important for behemoths. Ed can re-up his own blink, but everyone else has to get re-upped by Rosa. And it should be going down pretty soon. Oh, I re-upped the wrong blink. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Let's re-up your blink. And that's the behemoth. 65,000 gil for killing it. And a ton of experience. Rosa and Cecil leveled up immediately. We're not supposed to be here yet. But blink is OP. Yeah, there were 158 here. They can drop headband. We can steal headbands from them if we actually got a successful steal. We get they can drop power armlets, power sashes, and avengers, which is ridiculous. We're not going to be farming them, of course. I don't think we can actually. We're going to move on onto this floor. We have more behemoths. Oh, you're you still have an avenger. That's a little bad. Uh, Ninjutsu mirage. Yeah, that's a little bad. I will. Not be completely upset if Cecil goes down here. Because Behemoths counter everything, every attack with a really nasty physical. You're gonna blink yourself. Harry. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna actually let you sit there for a bit while you blink up her. Blink. Try stealing, I guess. It's not likely to work. We're so much lower level than these guys. We need another Kiraja. I'm not messing around. Mostly for Rosa and Cecil. Just get them out of, like, critical HP. Thank you, Cecil. We up your blink. I mean, this is this cave. We're definitely not going to try to worry about all the enemies here, because there's no enemies that are unique to this cave. It just pulls enemies from other areas. Or from another area, specifically. We're still fine. I'm gonna re-up Mirage on you, just because I can. Yes. Reblink wrote Ridia. Goodbye, Behemoth. Yeah, did Ridia get levels? And Ridia has learned Faraga. That's cool. Oh, we don't have anything in the Beast area, actually. But I am going to take that Avenger off. Since I've been reminded. I'm not going to put the shield. It's not really that worth it. Although, a Silver Dragon. Ugh. Silver Dragons. Not very friendly. Uh, we need to re-equip uh, Edge's good weapon. Uh, we're gonna just buy OU. Kiraga, because I want to save MP, because Rose is running a little low, and we're gonna need some MP on her for 
the end of this cave. Yeah. Beat up the Silver Dragon a bit. Goodbye, Silver Dragon. Really, has got plenty of MP. Oh, a new entry in the bestiary. Did not. Wasn't necessarily looking for this though. Yeah, silver dragons. I mean, they can drop stardusts, uh, light curtains, lunar curtains, and silver apples. Resistant to a lot of things. Just keep going along this little path. And that's another behemoth fight. These behemoths are scripted, by the way. No, you need the ninjutsu mirage. You defend for now. I want to make sure I can get at least the first couple of blinks up before we start going all out. If Edge loses one of his blinks, I'm going to re-up Ninjutsu the image just because I can. Because Edge's MP does not matter at all. He's not going to run out. He basically has infinity MP. But with Rosa, I have to save it for two running out. No one's lost two except... Everyone has one except Edge, who has two. Okay, we need you to be re-upped. You parry, because Riddy is useless. They have really high magic defense, so it's not worth doing anything here. I'll stay here for now. Oof. Uh, Cecil? Okay, you didn't get hit. That's good. We'll re-up that, because it's basically free. That'll be fine. Yeah, we'll, look, we'll probably get getting to the end of the fight anyway. Hey, Rose and Cecil level up again. Good, we're already in the mid 40s. That's a good feeling. Um, uh, I would like a little more MP on Ray Rosa, just a little. Hmm. Anyway, it's time for another boss. Optional boss. We beat Leviathan. You can't do this until after you beat Leviathan, but whatever, we beat Leviathan. That Light Veil is actually... might be really useful for this fight, but I'm going to save it for later. Yeah, Cecil, you can go. Cecil can go all out. We're going to cast a Reflect on Rosa. And we're going to start summoning Leviathan. Go Edge, do your thing. We want to get Reflect up before he runs out of his count. We do want to... We want to try to do as much damage as we can before the count, but we will need to probably get some Reflex up. So that's what Rose is doing while everyone else is on damage. We can probably get another Reflect. We'll get one up on Ra Rosa, or Rydia, I mean. Rydia needs to Reflect. She deserves it. Edge, do more damage. Cecil's going to take another swing, and... Yeah, Edge is going to go down here. We have Mega Flare here. Rosa and Rydia had Reflects up. And Walls up. So, it gets bounced back. And Bahamut takes a whole bunch of damage. Uh, we are going to Phoenix down. Get Cecil back.
Uh, we're going to start working on Reflect again. Cecil's already still Zerk, so he's fine. That's not who I wanted to do. We still have the Reflects up on everyone. So you raise Edge, I guess. It's a little bit of MP, it's not really that much. We still have enough for one Reflect. Edge might not get the Reflect up, but that's kind of okay. Uh, we'll Sylph just to show it off. And you Reflect Edge. There. Oop. All the Reflects up. I think Rose's just wore off. As I said that, Rose's just wore off. But we're going to show off what the Sylphs do. Because it's actually kind of useful, I guess. It is a very fast cast time, really. That's why I did it. But I think Rose is down here. Yeah. Rydia, Edge, and Cecil will be fine. Rose is going to get destroyed. And Bahamut is also going to eat a bunch of Mega Flares. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's going to do it. Edge can have a level. That's okay. And we can now summon Bahamut. Now, Bahamut, when you summon it, is not reflectable. Which is very nice. Uh, we don't actually need to do that, actually. We can just... We're just going to teleport out of here. I don't want to be in this cave anymore. It's very dangerous, and... We will... And all the enemies here are found in another dungeon that's required for story later, so we'll find them there. We're just going to make our way back to the ship. And heal up. And we're going to head back to Blue Planet. <laughs> we're done with the moon. That's all. We don't need to do the actual plot stuff there, right? You know, we'll come back for plot later, but I want to do one last thing real quick before the video ends. Before this part ends. Then we'll be moving on. Next time we'll be actually going forward with a good plot, but for this part, we're doing more side stuff. Because so I believe that's all we have to do. I mean, we don't have to kill Bahamut, that, I just did that while we were up there, but all we have to do is go to the moon to trigger this, I believe. Yep, it's ready. I'll take you that. Yay, we got Excalibur. This sword is very much worth it. I'll take the magic defense. Yeah, we wanted that sword. It's really good. And next time we'll be heading right back up to the moon to go see what enemies we can find on the surface of the moon and see if we can't figure out what we're supposed to do up there. I'll see you then.